So, hello guys, um, today we'll start exercise number 9, which is an exercise on a 3D solid structure, as you may see here. Okay, we've got four load cases assigned to the structure and three of them are displayed here. Load case 2, which is a live load. Load case 3, also a live load and load case load case 4 also, also uh, a live load okay so we are going to select the vignette window on volumetric structural design remember that you have different uh, vignettes because each one has its own property set in a way that it's easier to work on okay you can click here on more and we are going to pick this one here, Volumetric Structure Design. Let's get started once again. I will follow all the steps shown here. First of all, let's go to Geometry Menu Axis Definition. Over here, I could also pick this button. I prefer to do that. And on the X tab, I'm going to the Numbering field and select Define. And I'm going to define x1. And this will number and name each of the position in a different way. Let me show you. Number 0, add. The label is x1. Now I want the position 1, add. 1.5, add. OK, now 5 add 5.5 add 9 add 9.5 and 10.5 add okay let me switch to y i could call this cr7 and we are going to set cristiano ronaldo as an structural axis. Let me see how that turns out. Mm, okay. No, I don't want this guy. See, all right. <laughs> I'm just going to delete this and also this. I'm going to call this Y1. Okay, 0. And now 0 0.5. Add 1. 4.5. Enter, I'm just pressing enter, 5 and 5.5, okay? Now on the Z axis, same thing, define Z1, I'm going to call this 0, 0 0.5, 3.5 and 4. So I'm going to apply and close. And I can go to View Menu Projection 3D XYZ, which will display a 3D view of the structure. But I prefer to go to this little bird house here. And there you go. Select the Zoom All icon from the standard toolbar over here. OK. If you press this button, it will zoom all. As you may see. Now let's go to the definition of the structure. The, first of all, the base of the foundation. Now I can go to View Menu Projection XY. Okay. View Menu Projection XY. It uh, will give me the plane, the XY plane with the height 0. Now I'm going to Geometry Menu, Objects, Polyline, okay, Geometry Menu, Objects, Polyline. I could also select over here. I'm going to press Geometry and I'm going to add some points. This is the best way to define geometry, always following, following your structural axis, okay? So I'm going to X1, Y1. I'm going to the snap settings, turn off everything and turn structural axis on. I'm going to close that. 
select once again geometry I'm going to x1 y1 x8 y1 x8 y6 and y1 x1 y6 now to close I need to go to the first point okay and now we have to find our base okay I'm going to zoom all I'm going to geometry menu and go to panels and now now we need to activate the face option in the contour type over here this is not a panel, this is not an opening, this is a face of a 3D volumetric structure. And once this option is selected, the currently generated object will be defined as a face, without assigning properties, which will enable using such an object during generation of a volumetric structure. Okay, let me explain this. We need to set a volumetric structure, okay? We are going to define a face, you can call this upper face, and then we will, we will extrude it down or up or whatever, so this is a face. I'm going to pick an internal point and press one internal point. Okay, very good. Now I'm going to view menu projection 3D. View menu projection 3D. You can press this little bird house here. Now I'm going to select this panel. I'm going to press number one over here. I'm going to geometry menu objects and I'm going to extrude okay parallel to axis this extrusion will be parallel to axis z and we'll have a length of 0 0.5 and the division number of the extrusion will be one what this means is that you have a face over here and you want to extrude it 0 0.5 meters so this will extrude this face 0 0.5 meters up with only one division regarding finite elements okay I will have finite elements with this thickness I could break the division number in two or three or four and robot We'll divide this in 0 0.5, uh, 0 0.25 elements. Okay, if I if I pick the division number two, I'm picking one. Apply. Okay, and there you go. There you have your slab. I'm going to apply. I've already closed that. And uh, on the next part of this film of this video, we will work on the columns and the definition of the columns so thank you very much for watching please subscribe stay tuned we have a lot of things to talk about regarding this exercise thank you very much